Welcome to the next lesson. Today we'll be doing HTML3 tables, where we're going to how to use <clears throat> tables in HTML. Now, HTMLs are not uh, HTML tables are not used that often now in modern web development, but it's a good thing to know in case you encounter it out there in the wild. We are going to go fairly quickly since it's not something we're going to get into a lot of detail for. So we're going to scroll down to our lesson number three, and you can either follow the PDF, the video or get right into the glitch template where there will be instructions in the activity.md file as well as the resources.md file. There's another video that goes through the resources in more detail, but let's just take a look now. So, your flow should be like this. If you want to get going, you can click right here. If you want to read over the instructions real quick in a PDF format, you can scroll through here or any combination that works well for you. I'm going to go right into the glitch template. And I'm already signed in, so I'm good to go. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is hit Remix to Edit right here, rename your file, and we can get started. So here's our activity. We can get to the PDF from here and the tutorial from here. And we're going to be creating a single table with a heading row. And then we're going to add three cells to that table. And we're going to end up with a structure like this. You'll see the difference between the cells and the heading row but they're really just four rows with one row at the top being bolder and more likely to be seen as the key or the way to read the table in a more semantic way. In the resources, you'll see each tag or each section of the activity broken down by tags with a couple of definitions and some links to find more information in W3Schools. So we'll be building a table tag, a t-head tag, table rows, table headings. The difference between the two will be evident only when you make one. And then making sure that we have our body structure correct because a missing TR here or going right to TD or, or forgetting T body and making all the T table only have cells, it's going to break things down a little bit. So we're going to go through it real quick and you can get more information right here in the tag reference or from these examples right here. So go right into our index HTML and I have the instructions open on another screen, but you can either have your PDF or you can jump back and forth between activity and index. So let's do that. First step, tables in HTML. After the body tag, add the following. So, find our body tag, here's where our code goes, and we can get started. We are going to create a table tag. Watch out for that automatic closer, okay? Everything that we're gonna build in this example is gonna go inside of this area. So you do not wanna do the following, for example. It, it actually indents it for you in this case, which is nice. Let's see if we can get it to incorrectly space it out for you table as soon as I hit the closing tag ah even better sometimes it'll do this and then you end up putting your code down here that's a recipe for destruction so let's try it one more time I wouldn't count on this but it's nice here and always make sure that you're putting your code inside of the parent tag that you actually wanted to in our case everything's going in table so we're good for now very thing very first thing we're gonna do is use our T head tag to create a heading ah here's a good example we created a t head tag it completed with our with our closing tag just as we wanted but we will have to be cognizant of hitting the enter key twice and then indenting inside to make sure that we are now coding inside of this t head parent so we have a parent and a child and we're going to actually include a third level right here let me make things a little bit bigger okay so the next part of the instructions and I just made this a little bit smaller, but if you're going back and forth, you might need this. But I recommend maybe getting the screen over here, like this for example. One second. follow the instructions like this we have our index HTML over here mine's a little bit bigger for the video bigger for the video but you get the gist you can jump here and follow the instructions here here follow instructions here so let's keep moving and we are going to do the next part which is creating a T in a T row table row for our table heading area ah and each one in this row there are going to be three cells three headings one for book 
another one for hmm. ah see I'm already getting the error signs we got title and author we're done with step one right there we've created a full-on table tag that hold on that encompasses our whole table we have a t head tag for that first row a setting for that row table row so we got table heading and inside one table row and inside of that table row three headings let's just see how this looks so far because it's really it's really hard to figure out from this old school table syntax what exactly is going on here so let's actually take a quick look at a site and we see right up see right up book title and author that's one row that's a table heading row heading row and then our first row every row needs a row this one just so happens to also be a t head which gives it the bold color and we have the first heading one two three take a look again at our code one two three we're moving on to step two is where we're going to add cells to our tables and, and watch out for this gotcha the instructions say very clearly after the closing t head tag add the following so not down here not here but after the closing t head tag right here make sure you take a look at your code again because you could take one look and think you're in the right spot and miss it and if you start putting this stuff up here i'm not sure what's going to happen it might even work but doubt it so now we're going to create a t body tag which is just going to be the, t the body of our table and we're going to recreate what we did before the only difference here is that this is a t head and this is a t body but they're all going to get this syntax right here with one subtle difference because these are headings or th's we're gonna throw the same thing into ours but t bodies do not get th's they get t d d's not even sure why table cell no no table dimension whatever it is from here on in you can create all these the same so to show you the difference I'm gonna put some different values in here so tell me if this makes sense we have our whole table here and our table has two children a T, a T and a T body both get a row but this but this formation gets a different tag th while this one gets TD and gets and gets more this will again make sense once you look at it in action. So let's see what our table looks like. And we see one table row followed by the table body right here. And then the first row, the second row, the third row. This is TD, I mean TH. And these are all TDs. And if we look at our instructions, that's it. You won't use tables that much, or maybe you shouldn't, definitely shouldn't use it for layout, but if you see one in the wild and you need to correct it, this is gonna be a good lesson to, uh, to understand how they work. And very susceptible to errors, so if you mess up, just keep trying. Um, getting the syntax right is important, but it might let you get away with a couple things. But as long as you know the table has these two children, and these rows are dependent on the amount of, amount of cells that you give it, for example, let's just see what happens when we add an extra one and we kind of break our pattern you will see that now there's four but only four there's only three rows hmm. we can mess this up we can mess this up either by adding another TD to one random random so the, these do have to match there's better ways to do this in modern in modern but Ah, so you see right here that's the extra heading that we added added here's the one extra cell that we added but because we didn't add it to either of these those are now missing and just, and just last difference so you know where you are at all times I'm change the titles to be the number of the row that they're in I'm gonna change this one over here to four we can tell the difference four one two one, two eight and with this author being that last T D oh, oh. so give it a shot uh, and we're moving on to forms in the next one which is also going to be a quick one quick one since we're not getting into detail and I'll see you at that one